I can see the drawing on the other side as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place the other leg on this side, making sure that it is in the right place. I can actually stand it up and just check. And I've got some already stored tape. Get the tape ready. It's nice this masking tape because it's easy to rip off and it's pretty sticky. So it's really good to do paper mache on. Okay, so then we need to tape on this other leg. We've checked it to make sure that the kangaroo can stand. And we are taping that on and pressing it on nice and tight all around the kangaroo's shape. Okay, and that leg just wants to pop off a little bit there. So we need to make sure that it is properly stuck on there with the tape and it is not going to move into the wrong place. Now, you always have to adjust your little kangaroo when you have put its legs on or done that sort of part of the taping. So you need to check that your little kangaroo is actually standing up and you will need to bend the tail to make sure that the tail is supporting the little kangaroo in an upright position. I can use some uh, toothpicks or skewers and either place them into the back of the leg like this to give them a little bit of strength and tape them on in the right position. So that will also help to give a little bit of strength to the kangaroo design. Okay. So in any way, so I'm just popping that down like that into the body of the tin foil and then just popping some tape around to make sure it stays. Now basically you have to cover your uh They can strengthen each other. There's a little piece under here that's a bit hollow. really strong and you're going to flatten out all of these. Okay we're going to start our paper mache now on top of our kangaroo figure now that it's all strong and it's standing in the right direction. Just going to give you a quick recipe for making um, grain in it or anything. It's very smooth white flour and I have one cup of hot water from the tap as hot as you can make it from the tap mixed in with this. So it's one cup of flour, one cup of hot water. Cut strips of newspaper. Now newspaper rips in one direction. You'll find it doesn't like to rip in the other direction. And we're gonna get some strips and prepare them like to this flour mixture. You can water this down a tiny bit if it gets too thick and you will need to have somewhere clean to work or somewhere that you can clean properly to work. Maybe work on a sheet of newspaper. Soak your strips in the paste and then you're going to wrap them around your sculpture shape. Now that glue is really fantastic and will actually create a wonderful hard surface. Note that I dip it in and then I remove most of the glue from the paper strip. So you've got to remove most of the glue from the paper strip and then you apply the paper strip and press it into your sculpture. This is a really lovely messy type of activity. To make the glue smell a bit nicer and not just like flour and water I put a couple of drops of um, essential oil or you can put vanilla in it if you like and 
Uh, that makes it a little bit nicer to work with in terms of the smell. Now you're going to continue doing this until you have covered your entire shape with paper strips. Okay, well, you're looking at my little kangaroo. He's actually on a piece of paper, he's still wet, but as you can see, he's covered in lots and lots of strips of newspaper and they have been soaked in the glue and then the excess wiped off. I might have to adjust the tail a little bit. Uh, he needs to be now placed in a dry spot, a place where he can just be in a little bit of wind and it needs to dry thoroughly. So don't leave it out in the rain, don't let it get moldy, it needs to dry quite quickly and thoroughly so that we are ready then to prepare our model for another different technique.